we are known and created the art form of legging, legging to the beat, like tap dancing, and being smooth on the flow, like you just gliding in there. That's what St. Louis is known for. I've been skating in St. Louis for the last, uh, God, 40 something years. I've been skating ever since I've been five years old. I'm proud to say that I know back when I was coming up, we brought skating to this city. Yep, we put St. Louis on the map, right? When we originally opened the skating center in East St. Louis, that was 1970, Martin Luther King had just been assassinated several years prior to that. So the, the name of the skating center was the Martin Luther King Memorial Skating Center. It was really a black thing, you know, everybody came together and it looked like, you know, don't where you came from, it didn't matter where you came from, how you looked or whatever, but when you came out to Stanbury, you, you became a skater. People just like a family down to the skating ring. You know them for 20 years, but you never see them outside the skating ring. But if you see them 10 years, 20 years on the line, I know you. Did you used to skate? It ain't nobody in St. Louis. Nobody, nobody that ain't somehow attached to somebody who skate or know a skater or have been skating. Right. Nobody. That's true. Nobody. The key to any skating rink is two, is three keys. You gotta have a location. You gotta have your skates, number two. And you got to have a DJ. <laughs> if you don't have them, the only three elements that skating requires, somewhere to skate, your skates, and the disc jockey. If you lack in either of the three, you ain't doing nothing. I can go around the rink, but crazy leg and skating backwards and really just flying around the rink without almost breaking my neck. Now I still probably would fall this day. I had to climb out my second story window because my mama told me I couldn't go skate. And I snuck down the side of the window with two sheets tied up and stole her car. We didn't even have people getting married on skates. Yeah, you know, married on skates that had funerals on skates, man. You know, like we used to play old jams like Double X Bus. Uh, rock, skate, roll, bounce, you know, some moving and grooving. You know, I put the record on and, and the folks hit the floor and get the jam real fast and moving so fast that the, the lights, they had ball lights and the lights got to moving in the ceiling. And, you know, when the balls get to moving, you know it's wall crashing time. Most folks don't want to get out and have the fun and skating really possess. Skating is my life. If I, if I lose, if I lose anything, maybe you can't stay no more. I like to go. It's not just going around in circles, or it wasn't about just dressing up to show off your, you know, clothes. It was just, you know, you had to skating. match our socks and the shoes and the earrings and the belts and the bracelets and all that. And we get dressed up and fucking say, oh, where y'all going? Skating? Oh, wow, y'all just going around in <laughs> circles. What you getting so dressed up for? So it's more than just skating. It is. It's more than just a hobby. Yeah. It's a way of life. It's a way of life. It is a way of life.